Selena Rubin, and I am the owner of the Art of Makeup School. We are lake, located in Lake Oswego, Oregon, right on the boundary of Southwest Portland. Our students seek all kinds of careers as a makeup artist. There's many pathways to being a makeup artist. You could work in a retail store for a line like Mac or a store like Sephora or Ulta, or you could go on to working in movies, television, commercials, runway fashion shows, portraits, um, advertising campaigns for Nike and Adidas. So you can do all kinds of things or work on weddings. So it is really up to you and your interests once you become a makeup artist, which pathway you decide to go on. And we teach all the different kinds of makeup, beauty, fashion, character makeup, and special effects makeup. Special effects makeup is used in movies, but also in labs and theater productions. And sometimes you'll see it in commercials and on advertising campaigns and photo shoots. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to do an injury makeup demo. And that is, it's called out of the kit effects. And there's small effects that you can do right out of your kit and you don't need a lab. These kinds of effects are essential for makeup artists who work on film and sometimes those other things that I mentioned like commercials and photo shoots, but mostly you'll see it in film and television. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a bruise. Bruises are different colors depending on when the stage of the bruise is like, did it just happen or is it healing or is it about to go away? So if it just happened and you just bumped your head or something, um, it'll be more of a red and sometimes a kind of dark blue will come in in the next like hour or two. So I'll start with the red and I'm going to show you how to make your cheek look like it's swollen without it actually being swollen. So I like to work with my fingers a lot with special effects makeup and doing bruises. So I will look in my mirror that's just off to the side here. And um, the way that bruises come about is they're broken blood vessels or capillaries. So you don't want anything to look too blended or symmetrical. It can even look like it has like little, little veins and little blotchy areas. So I can use this texture sponge here. This is two different kinds of stipple sponges. One has like more open areas and this one is more denser. I'm gonna use this orange sponge. And I took the Ben Nye Master Bruise Wheel and I took out little bits of color and I put it on my mixing palette. As a makeup artist, sanitation is very important and you always wanna scoop out your makeup and put it on your mixing palette so you're not recontaminating the product before you put it on somebody else's face. So I am going to, I think I'm gonna start off with just my finger and just kind of mark the area that I want. So I'm gonna make this a swollen area and Just going to kind of draw, I have blush on, so it's not super highlighted. Maybe I'll take some of that blush off so it'll look more swollen. I can always highlight the center too. Okay, I'm going to, actually, I have a color in here that is a darker, more deeper red. I'm gonna mix some of that in as well. Hi, Katie. I am doing a wound demo. So I'm starting off with a bruise. Where'd she go? She didn't pop on. Okay. So you can see these 
deeper colors add more realism too. So keeping it blotchy. Then I'm gonna dip this sponge into it. There she is. There you are. Okay. Hi, Katie. Oh, she's off again. I guess it's not working. Okay. So you can see it creates nice little kind of blotchy texture, which is what you want with a bruise. So I'm doing a kind of mixture of using my fingers and using this sponge, which I really like the texture. Okay, looking good, right? I'm also going to add a little bit of blue for some areas that we're thinking starting to turn a little blue. Okay. It's looking nasty. That's what we want. Okay, we wanna keep that, that area in the center as my swollen area. And I'm gonna take that dark color and I'm gonna give myself a black eye because the, the blood will often pull up under the eye. I'm gonna put it on my lid too. Although I have some eyeshadow on there. Should have taken off. But you can see it looks a little more red. Okay, I'm gonna add some blue in there too. It's good to have reference photos of real bruises. So if anybody in my family gets a bruise, they know I want a picture of it because you want to refer to not another makeup, but an actual real bruise or real injury so that you can get a, a realistic replica of it. So now that I have my bruise, and I have it highlighted in the center. I'm going to make a little cut in here. Um, I think I wanna make this highlight a little bit lighter. Okay, let me see, I got a message from Oregon Film. Looks like, no, maybe not, okay. All right, going to take some foundation. I have a foundation palette here. I want to make that highlight lighter. So I'm gonna take some light colors of foundation. And I'm just putting it right in that circle in the middle to make it pop a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna take an eyeliner brush. I'm gonna take a dark color like blue. 
And I'm gonna use a, a little thin little eyeliner brush and I'm going to draw a little line so that it looks like it's cut open. I think I'm also gonna draw little lines in the sprues. Add some more texture, little capillaries. Okay, now for the blood. I'm gonna squirt some blood onto my palette. Make sure when you apply the blood that it is going in the direction of gravity. So if you do it this way, that doesn't really make sense. It should kind of fall down. I'm gonna take another eyeliner brush. And dab it right over there. And then if I want it to drip down, I'm gonna change the direction and have it come down this way. It's not wanting to drip. Okay, I'm looking pretty beat up, huh? I would like to show you a bruise that is healing now. So I'm gonna do that right here on my face. So using your color theory, you're going to take your complementary colors, which are opposite on the color wheel. So it might be red and green. And by mixing all the colors together, throw all the colors together and it'll make like a muddy brown, which is kind of a healing bruise color. So um, if I mix red and yellow and make orange and then add blue in it, I'm also gonna get that complementary color, that muddy color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of first some orange first, first some orange first. Okay, and then I'm going to add some blue on top of it and see what happens. Starting to get a little muddy. But too purple, I'm gonna add some green in there. That will help. And I do it with my stippled sponge. Right now it's looking like an old bruise, right? Bruises that are old, they have a little green, maybe a little yellow, a little red, and they ultimately look kind of like brown and gray while they're healing. I don't know what I did, but I must have really knocked myself up good. Okay, so we have a swollen bruise here that's cut. We have a black eye in here, and we have a healing bruise. So that is my demo for you today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, we are the Art of Makeup School. You can find us at artofmakeup.com. We give tours, we have fun one day workshops, and our summer makeup camp each summer. So if you're interested, please reach out 
and I'm happy to schedule a tour or tell you more about our program. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.